and don't be forced into doing a guarantee. Some years ago, it was after we used to have, we, um, when Hyundai, Hyundai was small, we actually got it and, and uh, our, our agency came up, which is now using the car industry, drive away, no more to pay. Because remember the frustration of buying a car that was X amount, by the time you got it on the road, the dealers, all these extras, I don't know about you, but it made me angry. So we came up with this fixed price, drive away, no more to pay, which revolutionised. We had to offer something for a young day to get the sales. Anyway, unfortunately, after a long time, the XL started to come apart in the middle. I don't know who gave the advice to the company to bury your head in the sand, but that's what they did. The media and the government tore them apart. They had to eventually come out. I would have, I, I don't know who their PR communication would have been. I would have got fired because they just not how you handle that. They had to come out eventually and promote strongly that they'll pay back every single car, reworld the centre, and then give a lifetime guarantee on that world. Now they had to overreact to regroup. You see, at the point that publicity came out, they dug their head in the sand. Their dealers could not sell one car. I don't, their dealers could not sell a car at all. Now, when Arnott's had an extortion attempt on the Tim Tams, about not long after that, they withdrew all the product. They had the media and the market on when they were able to go back in stores. They could not keep product on the shelves. People were going and buying. It's how you handle that. You see the guarantee, the reassurance, the fear thing can be dealt in many ways, in many situations. And a rise in uh, PR, and, you know, the company that Gloria Jeans used and have been phenomenal through many situations. We had a fire that burned everything to the ground. You know, we had to get messages out that we were not closing. And you need a company that can work with you in that type of situation. So there's a different way of doing it. Um, then marketing, Tony's referred to two. FedEx, when it, posit when it positively has to get there overnight, in a, in a lot of ways that's a guarantee. And where are you going to go? Prices, in advertising, everything's panic. You, know, you don't see anything through the mail. Fax is even too slow. We've had to put people on planes to Perth to change editions of newspapers that run the wrong ad to make sure it actually gets in there. But when you've got someone who will actually guarantee overnight you're going to use it, and the 30 minutes or it's free with Domino's is a guarantee. It doesn't cost them anything unless they don't deliver that pizza in 30 minutes. In fact, the people aren't interested in the quality of the pizza. They just need product. And you know, that's what they'll do, and they'll put up with whatever comes. So there's a few ways you can look at you know, guarantees you know, in, in the business. Now what I want you to do is just to, for a few minutes, is just think about <coughs> what guarantee, whether it's a marketing, an advertising, or a specific guarantee you could offer. To put aside the fear that everyone's going to come back and want to cash it in. Because <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> 